I'm going to talk to you about the very core of my ministry. My ministry is called Peace in the Pressure Cooker. And years ago, the Lord gave me this amazing scripture. And I have clung to it. I have stood on it. And I'm not going to let it go. This scripture is that good. I don't ever want to get away from it. So I'm going to take you today to the scripture in 2 Corinthians 4, 7, and 8. This is that scripture. Listen closely. We have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed. Did you hear that pattern? You were, you will, but God. This scripture means the world to me, and I want it to mean the world to you too. The first time I ever heard Patty Davis speak was at um, my church my husband was pastoring. And she did um, this piece in the pressure cooker, and my pen was flying 90 miles an hour, smoke coming from it. Pressed but not crushed, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. What keeps a submarine from getting crushed? It equalizes the pressure from the inside out. That's what this heavenly treasure, this peace of God, is going to help you when you dive into these unknown circumstances. You're going to be able to feel the Holy Spirit rise up in you and equalize the pressure. She has such a story to tell there of the redemption that comes when you're walking with the Lord, even though you've been deeply wounded. Her divorce, her illness, I mean, this is real stuff that we all experience and women need to hear her story because it's a powerful story. I have had my heart twisted with anxiety. I couldn't rest and I couldn't relax, but this peace filled me. And I don't care if I was on a gurney, if I was trying to be extracted from that car crash, if I sat in my singleness, if I sat in the infusion room of the chemo, I sat in peace. We've been through a lot of stuff in our lives and she has definitely and she helps you to, you know, come to an understanding of what's going on in your life and that God's there with you. She's an encourager. She's full of joy. She hasn't been overcome by her circumstances. Because of this heavenly treasure within us, we're not defeated. And that's what I want you to hear from me today. We're going to face the reality of time here on planet Earth. But please grab hold of the eternal heavenly mystery that we will not be defeated. I think she just challenges me. I think looking at her and seeing everything she's been through, it gives me hope that I can make it, you know, and then she's so joyful. So I think that's also what impacts me is just God's power in her and the strength and she encourages me every day to keep going. Our treasure is the presence and the peace of God. It's something this world knows nothing about. They go to entertainment, recreational drugs, spending. They're trying to change their circumstances from without. But our God, my God, this mystery he provides, lets us change the circumstance inside. That's my God. I'm not moved out of my circumstances. I'm moved and empowered in them. That's what I want you ladies to know. That's the God you serve. After you have been in her company, like I said, she is contagious and you love her and, and she makes her God contagious and you just want what God has given her. Ladies, you will be disappointed and you'll become discouraged, but don't give up. Keep pressing through and know that this all-surpassing power is from God, not yourself. That's what the world needs to know. How does she do it? As people learn my story, I, I can't even believe my story. I read it and it's like an out-of-body experience. It's like, wow, that poor girl. And then it's like, oh, that's me. She's got a great God. I want people to say that about you. More people are gonna read your life than they're gonna read the Bible. Let them see a woman who's got a big God, who's got a God that doesn't let her get crushed. When all hell is breaking loose, she sits there enjoying her chocolates. <laughs> because there's nothing else I can do. God's told me to be still as he delivers.